Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. We will be playing today Super Mario All-Stars. Uh, there isn't really much to com really say about this game. Uh, it's just a, compil a compilation of Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, Super Mario Brothers 2, and Super Mario Brothers 3. The the main thing about this is like this is supposed to be the four greatest Super Mario games that were com that actually came out before Mario started becoming popular on the Nintendo 64. So we, we have all these choices and I think I will be doing the original today. <laughs> yeah, I got through this game pretty fast. So we're going to start with a new file. One player. You don't hear anybody else around, do you? Let's go ahead and jump right in. This is a lot of fun. This is just a definite throwback. Can we hit the block? And we're big. Yay, we look normal. This actually isn't what the original looked like, which is kind of cool in a way, but whatever. And haha, I don't know if any of you really knew about that, but that's been there since the beginning of Mario. So if you ever need a one-up on the first level, then you know where to look. This game just brings back so many memories. I had this game on my Game Boy Color when I was a little kid, and it would just be the only game that I would play. I would beat it, and then start over, and then beat it, and then start over, and then beat it, and start over. <laughs> I don't know many. I don't really know how many times I could have beaten it and started over, but you know that's the point. Just goes to show you how great this game really is. Um, I'm actually playing this on a classic controller, so. The mechanics are basically the joystick to move or the D-pad. B is to run and A is to jump, so there's not really a whole lot difference to the regular game. And it's just basic. And also fireballs are with B as well. This game is awesome. So let's see. What has happened today? Nothing really to report today. Today was kind of just a slow day. Um, actually, one of my friends is on the broadcast team and she went on today and I've been trying to tell her to go on for months now or not months because we've only been in school for a month but I've been telling her for like two weeks in a row that she needs to go on because she needs to and she finally did and I was so happy because I got to see her and it was just really cool because she's she's one of the homies you know she's like pretty she's pretty much my best friend I'll have you guys know also I'm not gonna be playing this where like I jump over the entire course right here and uh, skip a ton of levels I want to do the whole thing for you guys it's just way m more fun to do the whole thing so two of them down I don't know how many I'm gonna be doing I guess I can if I go fast enough I can do worlds one and two depending on the time fireworks woohoo oh I hate this one this one is so annoying Oh wow, I should be commentating. I am terribly sorry. I was going to actually talk about some of my favorite quotes from like movies, TV shows, other video games, stuff like that. And I don't, you know, if you guys cannot understand I'm gonna actually say the reference to where it's from and uh, I have a wicked sense of humor if you haven't figured that out already if you haven't then you need to just leave or something alright we're at Bowser's Castle so um some of my quotes are in Banjo-Kazooie some of my favorite things are when dang that was really pointless uh, when Banjo kinda like starts celebrating and uh, when other people start celebrating in the game the whole noise of the way, way. I don't know. For some reason, that's just really funny to me. It's always been really funny. I don't know if you guys knew about that. I think there's two more here. Yep. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, jeez. So I, I like that whole way. Oh dear. Get that axe. Woohoo! We want a Bowser. Oh, a bag. Cat item! <laughs> That's another funny quote from uh, Mario Party. I've always enjoyed that. Ever since I played that. I played that with my dad when I was little. 
And every time I would play that game, I would always go and get the item bag from the toad shop. Because it's, I mean, like, uh, even though you're wasting 30 coins, you're getting two, three items. But the price of, ooh, no. And that's awesome. And it always gives you a magic lamp, I'm pretty sure. Uh, another, some other good quotes. When I was little, I used to watch a ton of cartoons on Nickelodeon and stuff like that. And one of my favorite shows on there was Fairly Odd Parents. And one of the quotes was, I don't know if you guys have seen this. Wow, I cannot believe I survived that. One of the episodes was when uh, they're watching a 3D movie about this volcano. And that is very unfortunate. We were going without dying for this whole time. And that just had to happen. One of the episodes was when the, they were watching this movie about a volcano that was in 3D and Timmy wished that everything would be in 3D and scary just like the movie and uh, they were trying to get collect money because they were going to go get pizza I think and the dad pulls out his wallet to go and pay the babysitter Vicky and uh, as soon as he comes over to her he goes ooh my wallet's empty and I, for some reason that was just always funny no matter what no matter what the circumstance was, that was always just a really funny quote. I love that quote. Let's see if I can think of anything else. Oh, uh, if you guys have ever heard of the game Hotel Mario, I have seen the clip for the trailer of that millions of times. And here we go with the water level. I hate this level so much. But uh, I could quote a lot of stuff from that. That was like one of the funniest trailers I've ever seen for a game. Uh, I've never seen a game suck so much other than Hotel Mario. It starts with Luigi and Mario walking, and they're trying to go to the princess's castle, and uh, Mario's talking to Luigi, and he's like, Oh, we gotta be on our best behavior, Luigi. We have to go see the princess. She's made dinner. And then Luigi goes, I hope she's made lots of spaghetti. And then they get to the princess's door, and there's a note on it, and Mario reads it, and he goes, Luigi, look. It's Bowser, and it's a uh, it's a note from Bowser that says pesky plumbers. I mean, the the whole thing is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it is the funniest thing ever, and I don't think a video game has ever failed. A Mario video game has ever failed so much more than that. I have seen plenty of horrible video games. The Mario games are not that bad. It doesn't matter what era you're talking about, 1985 or 2012. They're just all great. I I don't know if you guys have seen the new trailer for the new Super Mario Bros. Wii U, but they actually brought back the raccoon suits. So now Mario, Luigi, and the two Toads get to use the raccoon suits and kind of float around and stuff. And I think that that is an amazing feature that they chose to do. And uh, I guess the whole thing is kind of like the, the new Super Mario Bros. for the DS, where they're focusing on you getting coins the whole time. That was lucky. And I think that's really cool. Uh, let's see, what other movie quotes? I, I, if you guys aren't a fan of Liam Neeson, then you should not be watching my channel. He is a great actor. I mean, the guy was Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was also the Lion Aslan from the Chronicles of Narnia. He was also one of the Ra's al Ghuls in the Batman trilogy. And he was also in Taken. So why would you... And he was even in... I don't even know what that movie is called. He gets a, he gets a plane wreck in the mountains of the Himalayas or something. And he... Oh, it's, I think it's called The Grey where he has to like fight off these wolves, he's the last one, and he talks about his wife, and we're dead. We are so dead, it's not even funny. We just got sucked in by all that lava. Yeah, I spit that super hot fire. Man, I've quoted that twice now. I don't, I don't know whether to be proud of myself, and that, that, I should not be proud of that, that is just terrible. Let's try and win this now, please. Let's see, any more movie quotes that I can think of? Wow, that was lucky. How did that even happen? Please fall this way. Have you ever seen that when like you're playing this game and you go to get a mushroom and it falls the other way? And then, because in this game, if you go past the screen, you can't even go back anymore. And so like, if that happens, then you're pretty much dead. Because every time you get a mushroom in here, you're going to actually need it. And oh, I didn't know you could hit your head on that. I hope there's not a game over right here. Oh good, we still have two lives left. We'll be fine. Mini Mario. Dude, seriously? 8-bit, man. 8-bit. <sighs> oh my gosh. Is this the blooper reel? I don't think so. This is the LPs, and of course, 
Continue. 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 There we go. We have to start the whole thing over. See, that's what happens. When that mushroom does that, it's just awful. We have to start this whole world over. I'm just glad I don't have to start from world one. We just bypass all this junk. So, SpongeBob. Wow! SpongeBob quotes. I mean, you can go on forever with us. Uh, the bubble blowing episode, when B SpongeBob blows a giant elephant, and Patrick's sitting there laughing with, with his old voice, and he goes, ha 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 ha, it's a giraffe. Like, seriously? Seriously, Patrick, you can't be any smarter. You are such a fail. You are such a fail. Um, I have a picture that I put up on Instagram today. If you guys want to follow me, my username is wildebeast22. Go look me up. Follow me. Also on Twitter, it's the same username. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, but I posted a picture of a cat that was like, and it's and it says, and Frank looked off into the sea and the rocky sunset and the the, the garrulous clouds in the sea, and he thought of nothing because he was a cat. And it's literally a picture of a cat sitting on a rock looking out over a majestic ocean. Speaking of oceans, here we go with this junk again. But I mean, that's just a funny picture. It's already gotten so many likes. I don't know anymore, but <laughs> what a great, what a great picture, right? Uh, let's see. If you guys are wondering if I'm actually going to do Super Smash Bros. Brawl anymore, the answer is I do not know. I don't know if you guys would actually want to watch that anymore. I don't really know what else I could post from that. I was thinking about just doing maybe the boss run and maybe just going into the story mode and choosing four characters to fight Taboo and maybe even doing some of the events in the game. Because one of my favorite events in the game is the last one where you have to fight a giant Mario, a Sonic, and a Snake. And it's just absolutely difficult. I've beaten it on hard in about two minutes. And it took me forever to actually beat it on hard. It was, it's actually a really cool event, I, I like that. I like the whole game a lot, it's just a great game. But I don't know if I'll be playing it anymore. I'm gonna probably do this, I'll probably do this whole thing at this point. And then I also have new Super Mario Brothers. I might even do Super Mario Galaxy 2. And I, the only reason why I would do Super Mario Galaxy 2 is the fact that Nintendo Capri Sun did it. He was the one that made me buy that game. I actually bought Super Mario Galaxy and beat it. And then I bought Super Mario Galaxy 2 and beat it. So what about that? Tim, Tim is great. I've talked about him in every one of my videos now. I keep on tagging him in the tags for the video, hoping that one day he will watch or comment or something. I don't, if you guys actually know how to send videos to people, if you could tell me how to do that, that'd be cool. Because I'd like to send some of my videos to Tim. I think that'd be really cool if he got to read them. If he even commented to me, I mean, that would mean the world. The fact that he would take his time to talk to somebody that he's never even met like that. That's just so cool. Alright, so we're back here. Let's try and beat this. I'm, I'm quite done with this. Uh, let's see. Oh, there goes the mushroom. Down the drain. Down the drain. Down the drain. Run! Don't jump because we have the elevators. We have the elevators. So let's go down and... Oh, we didn't die. Oh, go under there. Okay, keep alive. Stay alive. And we die. Of course we do. Of course we do. So let's try this again, again, shall we? Again, again, home again, home again, jiggity jig. Oh, okay, let's get that mushroom now. Get that, yeah, super hot fire. Um, if you guys actually watch Ray William Johnson, one of my favorite things that he's done on there is the whole Cat Lauer thing. Cat Lauer porn, not Cat Lauer porn. <laughs> he's just so funny. I had my picture, my wallpaper on my iPod was actually Cat Lauer for a while, and I kind of edited it to have it say Cat Lauer porn. Which just makes it so funny, and, oh wow. I don't remember the brick wall right there. Oh, we beat him even though we got injured. So long, Gay Bowser. Another bag. Cat item. Thank you, Mario. Oh wow, double the toad. I, I don't even want to know what they were doing in that bag. Let's, let's just, let's just kind of keep away from what they were doing in that bag, and let's just keep on going. And we're at the snow place, so we're gonna save right here, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We no oh, wow, 15 minutes. Good timing, Jeremy. Great job. So, um, join us next time. We're going to be playing this. We're going to start with World 3, and hopefully we can get farther into it. Please leave your comments, like, give suggestions on what I can do to make it better. Thanks for watching.